guys, what's up? Spider Receiving here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own World of Warcraft private server registration website. And yeah, so I know that this has had to be like the first video where I actually did not show my face in it. So just if you were wondering, there I am right there. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started and take that off. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is that you want to install XM, which is right here, and to install that you can download that and install it from the link in the description box below and you can also download uh, the account registration HTML coding itself from right here um, in the link in the description box below hmm, excuse me, below so uh, the first thing that you want to do after that is actually install WinRAR if you don't already have it because um, this will be in a WinRAR folder and to extract it I believe that you need to have WinRAR so just right click on it, right click on the WinRAR folder and then hit uh, look like these books right here just hit extract here or extract files to wherever you want it to be and then this will come up so after that um, open up XM and if this does not pop up then you should still find it right here just right click and show slash hide so anyway after that um, just keep that open if you want to I'll just close it for now I don't know why I said that you can open it anyway <laughs> Just go to your XM directory, which I have a shortcut right here, which I'll be using throughout the video. But how you can get there is that go to your computer and then go to local disk C, and you should find it just right here. So that's how you get there. So, anyways, go to your HT Docs folder. And by the way, in your install, when you're installing XM, you can pick the directory, but like where it's going to be installed. But just keep it as default, which is in computer local disk C. And yeah. So open up the HT Docs folder. If there's anything in there, just delete all that. If there isn't anything in there, then good for you. But anyways, um, open up the account registration folder and copy everything in here and paste it in here. So let me just go and you can delete this. README is not really useful. Um, if there is going to be a README in the folder. But anyways, this is basically what you have to do. Um, it's really simple. I'm just going to go throughout the whole thing. So the first thing that you want to do is um, go to images and this is going to be the background of the registration website. So you can change this by simply just changing the registration website picture. So just keep make sure that your picture is called background image um, and right click on it and make sure that it is a JPG folder which is a type of picture folder so anyway after that the images you don't really have to worry about that unless if you know what you're doing and you want to change it which I just explained how so anyway open up the index right click on that I'll use notepad plus plus but I'll just you guys can use notepad or any other text editor so anyways here let me just explain what really happens if you change the name background image the JPG if you change the name which was in this images folder right here if you change that name and it's not a JPG, it's a PNG or something else, make sure that you change this name right here, this directory, into whatever it is and make sure that the dot is right, dot JPG or like the type of folder, like, like dot JPG, dot PNG, anything like that. So anyway, after that, right here in the bottom, this is just saying where all the buttons are going to be and everything right here. So you don't really have to worry about that unless if you know what you're doing. So if you did any changes, just save and close. If you made a mistake in your change, just um, re-download this thing right here and you could replace it. So anyway, this insert file is really important. Right click on that and I'll use Notepad++ again because that's just my favorite text separate. So I'll give this guy credits. His name is Mike Ambrose 3 I believe so. So he's the guy who created this, I guess so, and I'll give him credits for that. I did not have time to make my own to actually give you guys, so sorry about that. But there, this one's really good too. So um, he says don't edit the thing below, but you can edit it as long as you know what you're doing. And so this is basically what he's going to say. If you typed in your email and it already exists, this is the message that they're going to give you. This email already exists, please select a new one. And yeah. So, and if your account name already exists, this is the message they're going to give you. This account exists, please select a new one. If you want to give them a different message, then just change it right here. But I'm going to go back to this. So anyway, um, so now you know what you're doing in the bottom right here. So forget about not editing this because now you know what it is. So anyway, this is the really important part that if you make a mistake in these four lines, then it's not going to work. 
So basically, the DB host should always be localhost or 127.0.0.1, which is the same exact thing as localhost. So anyways, after that, your DB user and DB pass, which is basically username and password, um, it should be root and ascent, but it, if you're using a repack, then most of them are root and ascent. If you're using your own core, then you made it, and it should be whatever you want it to be. But most of them, the default that everyone normally uses is root and ascent. So, yeah, and you can double check that by if you're using Trinity, you can go into your or any other core. You can go into your configs, your world configs, and just check what it is. But I'll just show you how to do that real quick. So, go to your core folder, and I'm using Trinity, but this will work on Arc, Emu, Mangos, um, Skyfire, I believe. But I have just been experienced with Trinity Core and Arc, Emu Core. So, yeah. Anyway, so right here in the worldserver.conf, right click on that, open that with uh, this, doesn't really matter, I'm just going to show you the part where it says what type it is. Uh, right here, uh, this is the default, but this is what you made it, so you can check right here, my password, my username is root, my password is ascent. That's how you check it on Trinity Core and the Archimo, same exact way, except it's just going to be one line instead of three separate lines. So, anyways, after that, uh, go back in here and make sure that these two are correct. And the DB name, that is really important. So, basically, all you have to do is make sure that your MySQL is running, open up your database, and right here, mine is off. If, if you're using Trinity Core, it's going to be A-U-T-H, which is off. If you're using uh, Arc Emu, it's going to be Logon, L-O-G-O-N. So, right here, let's just type that in. Mine is set to Arc Emu or maybe other cores similar to Arc Emu, but just check it according to your core. So anyway, right here, I'm going to name that off, and we're basically good to go. But also right here, let me just show you what this says. After you've created your account, um, it's going to tell you your account has been created, if it was successful. And please notify this may take up to 10 minutes before you can log in. And you can change this text, and it won't actually take 10 minutes to create, to process your account. It's just going to tell them that it takes 10 minutes. So anyway save and close so after you've done that let's just go right here into the HT docs folder you're basically set and good to go so let's now actually test the website open up any browser web browser I use Google Chrome that's just because I like it and so in the URL bar you can type in 127.0.0.1 or you can type in localhost they're both the same exact thing I'm just gonna type in localhost just because I feel like it. oh I forgot one thing go into your XM and here show slash hide and you have to run your Apache. The Apache is what we're talking about right here. This is the main thing. Your Apache is the thing that actually runs your website. And you can use your MySQL to run not to run the website, but you can use XM to run your MySQL, but that's not what I do. So anyway, the Apache is what we're focusing on. Hit start and it should turn green and it should give you this warning. If it does, if it doesn't, that doesn't matter. It gave me a warning. If it doesn't give you a warning or if it does, don't worry about it, just hit OK. It should show up one time. That's just for me for some reason. So anyway, hit OK. And it's just a warning, it's not an error, it's not going to affect. So here, Apache turned green. <clears throat> Excuse me. It turned green, and yes, yeah, so let's minimize that. Go back in here, and just wait for that. OK. You can type in localhost, hit Enter, and you should find your website right there. So, of course, now there's this problem for some reason where it just keeps on duplicating the whole thing which I believe is because the the background itself is not too good because it's just I think that it's coded a bit wrong but I'm gonna try to fix this and still put it in the link in the description box below when it's working so yeah anyway um, I'll fix this for you before I can uh, release it to you or maybe I can have a different one but I'll fix it and if I can't I'm sorry but I'll show you also another one I'll explain that later. Anyway, so your account name is going to be your username. Let's test this out. Test 3. Password test 3. Username just a test 2. At live.com. And it won't actually check if the email exists or not, but it's going to check if the email has been used in the database or not. So, anyway, create account. And it should give you this message. Your account has been created. Please notify that it may take up to 10 minutes before you can log in. I like to just save my password. And close. And if you go into your database a couple minutes later, you should find that it's created for me. I still have to wait. Go to your account right here, and you should find it. But instead of waiting, I'll just end the video right here because it's going to be created anyways later. 
So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll make another video on how to make your website public so anybody in the world can just, you know, go into it and create their account and just play your game. So again, thank you guys for watching. Comment and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Hit the like video and subscribe for more videos. And sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been really busy with my life and stuff. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. And thanks again for watching. And yeah, so see you guys later.